on a given project, Blile estimates we're saving a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars by using SIFCAST. Howdy, I'm Travis Walker. I'm a professional engineer project manager at Blile Engineering. We're a general civil engineering firm. We work with municipalities, land development, site development, um, counties, cities, mud districts, and kind of everything in between on the general civil engineering side. So some of the uh, problems and challenges that Blile Engineering had before using SIFCAST were good circulation of projects. Prior to SIFCAST, we didn't know were the contractors that we wanted to bid the project or look at the project, actually getting their eyes on the plan set in an adequate time to say, yes, this is something they're interested in, or no, this isn't something that we're really looking at right now. Another problem I didn't really mention was um, it wasn't seamless prior to SIFCAST because if you had a question that was asked, you weren't allowed to answer the contractor directly. You had to do an addendum and they either fax the addendum out, wait for confirmation receipts, or send it via email, wait for the confirmation receipts, or prior to all that stuff, getting people to come in, pick up and sign for it, picking up plans physically, having to print out plans, uh, contractors purchasing plans. Oh, we didn't print enough plans. We printed too many plans. So it created a lot of paper waste. Um, so there were a lot of other, just like on the administrative side, issues that SIFCAST has really helped to um, kind of cut out a lot of that waste. So trying to find a solution for that problem of getting that good circulation, we would have our administrative staff or if we had interns during the summer, they'd be calling contracts and be like, hey, we got this project, it's 10,000 feet of water line, it's out for bid, are you interested? And so you're basically doing cold calls to contractors, we're sending emails to contractors, faxes to contractors, trying to get all this work around to um, really find an adequate solution for making sure we had that good visualization of our projects and uh, just kind of good publicity of our projects that were going out for bid. Well, now in CIVCAST, we can log on, post our plans, specifications, et cetera, onto CIVCAST, and contractors are notified instantaneously that the project with the water line or sewer line or whatever their, their hashtag is that they're trying to find is notating them that, hey, this project's ready for bid. And so we can go into CIVCAST and see these are the 15, 20, 30 contractors that are interested in the project and kind of have a much easier way to document what's going on with the project. And then I love, love, love the addendum aspect of it because you go to CIVCAST, you upload, upload an addendum and it automatically notifies the contractor, here's an addendum and it shows that they've received the addendum on CIVCAST. So your concern of, did they get the facts? Did the facts go through? Did the email go through? Are we actually gonna get our confirmation receipt? All of those things have kind of completely been taken out of the picture by being able to use that application of CIVCAST. So two things that Blyle loves about CIVCAST, when we're bidding a project is one, the question and answer section. So contractor Joe can go online and say, hey, I got a question about this. He types out the question. As soon as Bilal answers that question on Q&A, every bidder or every plan holder for that project gets notified that question number seven has been answered. And so instead of having to save all these up and decide when to issue addendums, that Q&A gives us kind of that real seamless time-saving option to be able to answer questions in real time and it makes it a, a huge benefit for Bilal. Another aspect of CIVCAST that Blyle's really enjoyed is their online bidding process. They've had it for a number of years and Blyle hasn't taken advantage of it until COVID hit us. And that's been another huge time-saving um, potential for Blyle. We're able to receive bids in real time. We click the button, the bid tabulation is automatically compiled and we're able to pull that data out of that Excel sheet. And it's just been a huge time saver for Blyle. I've spoken to many contractors and stated they really enjoy the online um, bidding process through CIVCAST because it allows them, instead of having to be in Conroe for a bid opening at two and Sugarland at two, they can sit in their office in between and be able to bid on both projects, not knowing which project they're gonna be able to win that project for. Some of the measurable results that were achieved by using CIVCAST uh, had to do with our administrative time. We had a lot of administrative time of um, getting the notices out via faxing, emails, um, hard mail notifications, et cetera. And so taking that administrative time out of the picture and being able to allow the engineer or project manager to see it so much more seamlessly within CIVCAST and the system that CIVCAST has online. Prior to CIVCAST, we'd assume we're gonna have 10 bidders on this project. So we're gonna print out 10 sets of plans, 10 sets of contract documents, and the contractors would come to our office and write us a check and take those plans. If we didn't get 10, then that's a lot of paper waste. If we had more than that, then we have contractors waiting in our lobby while admins going out and running copies. With CIVCAST, those hours and all that waste is no longer there. On a given project, Blyle estimates we're saving a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars by using CIVCAST. CIVCAST is a perfect fit for any person that's looking to receive bids on a project. 
for the civil engineer, for the city that's doing their own bidding or county that's doing their own bidding. And so contractors can find work easier. Engineers can get um, better quality bids and get better publicity of their projects. Cities know that the project isn't only going to be bid by the 10 contractors in town. It's going to be the surrounding towns as well. So you're going to have a better idea. Uh, are you getting the best price possible?